Rapid7 Insight VM, you can leverage automated notifications and workflows to streamline the vulnerability management process and finally put an end to your building backlog. Let's explore how simple remediation can be with automation-assisted patching. Here, we need to define the trigger. We have two options for automatically triggering a workflow. When an asset matching the criteria is found or updated, or when a vulnerability matching the criteria is found or reassessed. In this case, we'll choose a vulnerability trigger. This workflow will trigger automatically when this specific Windows SMB remote code execution vulnerability is found for the first time within the Boston site. Next, you'll be presented with the available workflows that can be kicked off automatically. We're going to choose Automation Assisted Patching with IBM Big Fix because these are extremely high criticality vulnerabilities that we want to patch as soon as possible. Here, you can see the steps that make up the workflow. Finally, once you set up the connection to the Big Fix system and confirm the trigger scope, the workflow is ready to be activated. Configured workflows are automatically turned on, but you can disable them at any stage from the workflows page. You can go into the History page to see the status of all automations that have run or are currently running. Clicking on any of the automation events will give you more details about what's happening in the workflow. We designed the automation-assisted patching workflows to give the user control over when and how patches roll out, meaning we don't patch anything without a human giving it the OK. That's why a decision is required to continue running this workflow. Once a decision is submitted, the workflow finishes running through its steps and a report will be generated summarizing what was remediated. See what other vulnerability management tasks you can automate. Start a free trial of Insight VM today.